G'day guys, Charlie here. So basically in this video I'm just gonna... I don't know, I've been playing that uh, new game mode Legend of the Poro King, basically that Poro uh, game mode and I've been seeing people uh, just build... I mean uh, people just building champions uh, I guess incorrectly for I think it's Howling Abyss, is that the map? Howling Abyss, yeah, the one on the bridge. That's the that's the word I was looking for. So like champions like Varus, well this is more personally the way I build them. Like Varus and Ezreal, those are the two that I'm really gonna talk about and just kind of explain how poke poke works in that map. Basically it's all about poke really. Who's got the best poke? And Varus, his Q is super strong, especially if you just scale AD. So you'll just go for heavy AD items, just with a lot, a lot of AD. And um, so you just basically keep spamming your Q until you get low, and then you, your team can team fight basically, or you know take a fight. And what I tend to do, you, I'll see people build like. Uh, Hurricane on Varus. I mean, yeah, it can work for certain kind of comps and things, but generally you can just more reliable just building flat AD. Like, um, see, what I generally build on Varus was, you know, um, what is it? Infinity Edge. What is it? I uh, don't really play AD champions. Last Whisper? last whisper and just yeah pretty much just so your Q d just deals a shit ton of damage and not really go for attack speed at all and so generally the boots I will pick up are generally cooldown boots because cooldown is also good because you know you're about to fire off your Q more and uh, get more uh, poke out I have though I have tried using what are they called boots of mobility and that also works pretty good as well, since his move is kind of like a charge up or a channeled ability, his Q, which makes him move a lot slower. So if you've got that extra move speed while you're going in, it's going to be, I don't know, you'll be able to get in faster, hit off your Q. And it's just running away, you've just got to have, you know, just confidence in being able to run away. Um, and that works quite well. And another one is Israel. I'll just bring up my uh, my last game that I had. Where is it? Actually, I'll chuck it onto this video so you guys can see. Add image, browse. Where is it? I think I chucked it on my desktop. Fucking, it's a fucking moth. <laughs> that fucking thing went in my mouth. Fuck off. Just fuck off, mate. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, fun fact, moths are attracted to light, but when they go towards light, they're blinded. I don't know. I remember reading it somewhere. So, like, that's why you see them just go mental around lights, because they head towards the light and they get blind and just keep going mental. Okay, so here it is. Uh, edit scene. So I'll just bring this up and I'll just so you can see what I built. Uh, is that good? That's good enough, and I could probably expand it out a bit more. Okay, so those are the stats. Um, as you can see, Israel is fucking strong when building AP. Because I, I, I generally build AP because, I don't know, I like AP better. AD is kind of boring for me in a sense that, like, if you're just auto-attacking, it's kind of just like the same shit, but if you're using your abilities, it kind of changes the way you play, and I don't know, it's just more more fun using abilities, that's generally why I go AP or go Spellcaster AD, like with Lucian. Um, anyway, so what I've built is Lichbane, fuck I'm pretty bad with the names, and you know that you know activates when you hit your Q, so you know, obviously, 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 and I picked up these two because they both give me the cooldown I need. So it gives me 40 cooldown. 
which is nice. This gives me a bit of mana regen, which again is also nice. But with AP Israel, you need to buck all mana regen while on Howling Abyss anyway, because you get increased mana regen and decreased health regen. So, I mean, that's a little bit of a nice bonus, but you're mainly getting it because it's a good AP item with the cooldown, and there's, you know, not many... Well, I think that one is really the only decent one, because it gives 80, 80 AP as well as the 20% cooldown, which is super nice. And then, so I went for this. Um, generally, a lot of people, you know, like, is that good or is it not? In Howling Abyss, I think it's the best... This is the be the best AP build for Ezreal because of the fact that with Nash's Tooth, with all with this uh, this build right here, you get an added 97 AP, as well as the 15 that it just standardly gets because it gives you 15 uh, AP, AP on auto attacks. Um, well, and when you proc on your Q, so you get that 15, then you get the I'm going to say 15% of your current AP, so it's kind of like Lich Bane. So you get a double of that, so you get the 97, I'm pretty sure is what I usually run, roughly get around. So it's just round it to 100 AP, as well as the item also has 60 AP. So basically you're getting 160 AP from this item if you've got all these other ones. So this is generally what you want to build last, your Nash's Tooth, because if you get it first off, you know, you're not really making the most of it. If you understand, because it's based on how much AP you have. I mean, generally you can get it either second to last or last. You know, just depending on which one you want to get. If you want to get Nomicon or uh, Nash's Tooth. And basically, so you've got your max cooldown. So you can spam your Qs as much as you possibly can. As well as you get a shit ton of Q damage. As well as, you know, the penetration from all your pen items. So that's generally how I play Ezreal on ARAM. And it, obviously it seems to work, judging by the score there. Um, obviously, you know, with certain uh, certain uh, comps you're facing, you might need to, you know, change it up. But generally that is pretty good because... If you play correctly, then you're pretty sorted. And saying that though, you're super squishy because when I generally go AP Israel on ARAM, I go 30 0 0 just to get as much Q damage as I can. And I had that Thresh who was kind of peeling for me and keeping me safe, which was really nice and that allowed me to get that score. But yeah, that's generally kind of what I wanted to discuss just pokers the shit. So, yeah, um, I thought I'd just kind of try out one of these videos. I'm just using uh, OBS to just make the videos, which generally I haven't been doing, or as in kind of these kind of vlogs. Yeah, just like the camera ones, I'm just using that, and it seems to be nicer because I can just record it, then upload it, which I've been doing, and I should be... I mean, I've been saying this for a long time, I should be able to get back streaming pretty soon. Um, just need to sort out a uh, fatting situation. I guess I'll give you a bit of an update. Um, flatmates are moving out, and I am taking over the place by myself, and I am going to be switching over to, hopefully, a faster um, s internet service provider. And get streaming back up and going because that's been what I've been trying to do for the past two, three years I think it's been that long, shit it has and yeah there's just been a lot of things that have prevented me generally it's just money uh, sometimes that is housing situation but generally it's just money having to find a job and shit like that Things are settling down, and hopefully all is good. Um, might be getting a flatmate, might be not. We'll see how it goes. So, thanks guys for watching, and I shall catch you later.